Let's take a deeper dive into the recommended layouts for the DV8 Troublemaker. As mentioned in the previous video, there are two key values to keep in mind for the two-handed no-thumb layouts. Distance of the dot to center of grip and distance of the dot to the positive axis point. With the unique shape of the dualistic core, the placement of the dot relative to the finger holes has a significant impact on the numbers of the drilled ball. Simply put, the shorter dot to center of grip distance will produce lower differential and less track flare, and longer dot to center of grip distance will produce higher differential and more track flare. To help with the no thumb layouts, we recommend using the online layout tool to translate the recommended dot to center of grip and dot to positive axis point distances into dual angle layouts. Our no thumb dual angle layout converter provides the dual angle values for your desired layout, helping maximize the ball performance of the Troublemaker's dualistic core. The tool uses three easy steps. Step one, input the bowler's positive axis point coordinates. If the bowler's vertical measurement is down, be sure to use a negative for this value. Once the PAP coordinates are in the system, the tool will calculate the distance between the center of grip and the PAP. If this value is not greater than the sum of the dot to center of grip distance and dot to positive axis point distance, the layout is invalid. Step two, select a dot to center of grip distance from the drop down menu. As noted in previous videos, lower values will result in lower differential and less flare, and higher values will result in higher differential and more flare. Step three, input the desired dot to positive axis point distance. If the sum of the values for steps two and three are not greater than the center of grip to PAP distance, the layout is not valid, and an error message will be displayed. And that is it. The dual angle layout is calculated, and the values will be displayed at the bottom of the form. Use the standard dual angle method to draw the layout on the ball and drill the holes. With this tool, the drilling angle will result in the CG being in line with the dot and center of grip to maximize the asymmetric differential created by the layout. Due to the wide variety of positive axis point coordinates and layout options, it is possible for the VAL angle to be negative. If this occurs, we do not recommend using this layout. Please consider using a more flare safe option by decreasing the dot to center of grip distance or increase the dot to PAP distance. Regardless of what layout you choose for the DV8 Troublemaker, we recommend drilling the finger holes three inches deep in order to maximize the relationship between the RG and differential and enhance the overall ball performance for two-handed no-thumb bowlers. And for all the latest info on the DV8 product line, check out DV8Bowling.com. We are DV8. Tonight, we bowl.